Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of V logo making in Illustrator. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Taking an artboard, going to the file and going to the new options, giving the name V logo and taking artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixels and color mode CMYK and resolution that is 300 ppi because of I'm using RGB color mode. If I use CMYK uh, here, 72 or 36 pixel is good for that. But I'm taking here RGB and hit the create button. And after that, we'll make the logo. How to make this one? Going to the round rectangle, drawing the round rectangle like this. Okay, that's good. It should be a little bit of bigger. And making this one 30 degree. Okay, that's fine. And for the convenience who is just taking this one a color like this okay that's good now we'll draw the triangle over there so for that reason we'll go to the pen tool and drawing the rectangle according to this actual triangle over there so here and here that's good but in this portion we have to press the shift and hold it because of we want to make the perfect triangle over there so now here a from the keyboard making this two portion in a round and that's it but in this portion we are not getting the proper angle so here is our proper angle we are taking this one proper angle like this that's fine and placing it over there before that we have to maintain this one like that so you can make this one bigger if you want and going to the object and going to the compound path and make and these two things you can make this one object compound path and make so now our logo is ready making it group making this one into middle of the artboard now will work with the color and everything here is our color swatch ctrl c and ctrl v so here is the color swatch and now another rectangle making it to downside and here is our logo i from the color picker and taking the color like this and going to the color angle 30 degree because of we got this one 30 degree from there before that ungroup this one and release the compound path going to the object again going to the compound path and release so we are getting the difference or different like a color like this okay that's fine and the background should be more darker so that this logo can be visible easily and properly and in this portion we are not getting proper alignment in the top so this is the proper top alignment okay now time to add some shadows and everything alter option button and make copy by like this and select these two things actually like this okay select these two things and shift m and re remove this area okay that's fine and in this portion we'll make this one like 45 degree or a little bit of like this so yeah that's fine and alter option button that's good shift m for the shape builder tool and removing this area okay for the shadow identifications we'll make this one a little bit of like this so shadow will be visible and now select all the stuffs making it group that's fine and placing into middle of the artboard that's good and copying this one making another one like this and now we'll write down the name over there going to the text tool taking the font size bigger taking the white color and here railway font railway like this or railway italic and giving the name so like that and making this one proper main alignment like this so controller command r and selecting this and making this one a little bit of bigger like this and logo should be bigger like this yeah 
that's fine and all the things i'll make it a little bit of smaller okay that's fine and you can make another color alter option button making another copy of these you can change the color up so here the upper portion so i from the color picker and giving this color and i and giving this other color so over there so the downside of this shape i from the color picker and like this and rotate this one so here you can make this type of shape the color like this so selecting these two i from the color picker and changing it up so before that if you want to change the one you have to make this one compact path and or ungroup this one ungroup this one and select this only these two i from the color picker and changing it up and the downside of the shape should be like this so this logo is another options so more of a like that you can add some circle like this make the stroke thickness bigger and i should make this one like that and going to the object and expand this one and making it to vector form from the stroke form i from the color picker and add some like that and ctrl c and ctrl f and in this window you can place it up so in this portion you can make this one like this so totally up to you which one you will prefer or which one you will uh, give like that so another option should be like that actually i'm just making the artboard like this so deleting this part and taking this part only ctrl c and ctrl f and now ungroup and selecting this two and making the color like this and it should be like that so here are three options you can provide to your client so please do comment which one is the perfect one and which one do you like so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of question queries or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye